Welcome back everyone. So my college semester as a sophomore has finally wrapped up and you know what that means. Final grades season. The time to be sad and cry. In this video, I'll be reacting to my final semester grades as a college sophomore. And I've done a video like this in the past if you guys haven't watched it. Link in the description below. But last semester, uh, things weren't too hot. Um, I did lose my 4.0. What did he say? <laughs> everyone wants a 4.0. It's kind of tragic when you do lose it. But everyone loses it unless you're some type of Albert Einstein genius, which I am definitely not, and I'm sure you guys may not be either. But I do believe this semester I bounced back. I don't know for sure yet, but I do have some type of general idea of the grades I got in the classes. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm basically going to be predicting the grades I got in each class, and then I'm actually gonna look at the grades I got in each class. And hopefully I got a 4.0 this time because right now my cumulative is a 3.91. I'm trying to get it to like a 3.96 before I graduate. So when Google sees me, they're not, they're not like, you know, well, he's not that dumb. I may be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. So starting off with what classes I even took this semester. I took two computer science classes. One was introduction to data science. One was computer vision. And phew, computer vision was the hardest class. I think I've taken so far as a college uh, student beside 351, which is a class I took last semester, which you guys obviously know I got destroyed on. I made a whole video on that class. But my other two classes were plant biology, the actual class itself, and then it's lab. So that counts as two classes. One is three credits, one is one credit. And my last class was religious studies, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, I believe. It was a class that only met once a week, and it was at 9 a.m., so like half the time I was asleep anyways, so that's probably why I don't remember the full name. But starting off from the top, so my introduction to data science class. Now this class was fairly easy. The professor was super chill. Um, highly recommend him. He was like really, really cool. He taught every topic pretty well, and the projects weren't too crazy. The homework assignments weren't too hard. We had quizzes, but he basically gave us the answers to the quizzes. And overall, I'm pretty sure I got an A plus in this class. Now, real quick before I continue, guys, the way my college works, the University of Maryland College Park, is that an A plus and an A is a 4.0, an A minus is a 3.7, a B plus is a 3.3, a B is a 3, a B minus I think is a 2.7, and then below that, you're just fried. So basically, getting an A minus isn't enough. You have to make sure your percentage is at least a 93.3 or 0.5 if you want the actual 4.0, which kind of sucks. You know, it really is pretty dumb in my opinion. But some of my friends in other colleges who get an A if they get 9% or above, they're like, man, I really wish we had your grading system because I got an 89 and that's a 3.0. But for us, an 89 will be like a 3.3. So it has its pros and cons depending on where you are in the range. Like if you're an A minus student, then you probably hate it with your guts. So now switching to my next computer science class I took, computer vision. This class was extremely hard simply because this is the first time I was using Python to such a high level. Now my data science class was also in Python, but this class was, you know, using a bunch of libraries like NumPy, Scikit-Learn, which is fine. But the things we had to implement, like the SIFT algorithm, where we had to get images and we had to classify them, say whether it's a dog or a cat. We had to get specific features of images like the like the nose of a dolphin or the fin of a plane. And we had to see, oh, did this fin belong to a dolphin or a plane? And while this may sound a little easy, you guys have to realize that we're trying to tell a computer, hey, this fin belongs to an airplane, not a dolphin. And trust me, making a computer understand these things is not an easy thing to do. There's a bunch of pixel calculations, a lot of pixel level stuff where you have to use vectors and matrices. And yeah, it got pretty hard pretty fast. So that class was a battle, but I know I did do well on the projects overall. The projects were graded kind of easy. I guess the professor pitied us. He was like, wow, these kids really suck. So let me grade these projects easy. But to be honest, I did think I did pretty well on the projects overall. So the midterm, right? What happened was, to be honest, the midterm, I really shit the bed. Um, I got a 34 out of 50 on my midterm which was a 68%. And it's funny because the average was like a 30 out of 50. So it's not like, you know, I'm dumb, but I was basically average. A little above average, but average. And since we only had one exam the entire class, my grade definitely took a hit. I had like a 99. I think I ended up with like a 91. This was a midterm. Like we had no final. We had a final project. And I'm pretty sure that grade is in. So when I check my final grade, I'm gonna see what I ended up with. Now moving on to my plant bio class. To be honest, I am so glad that I took plant biology lab or a lab in general while we had these online classes because 
a lab in person is so much harder than a lab online because think about it when you're in person you got to prepare that elodia leaf slide you know put the water droplets on and look at it through a microscope make sure everything is working but when the lab is online they literally give you the answers they say here here's a diagram you have to draw we did it all for you and all you have to do is just copy it and draw it that's, that's it in person, it's a thousand times more work, so I'm glad I took lab online while I had the chance. And since it was easy, like I said, they basically gave us all the answers. I'm pretty sure I got an A plus on that. And the other plant bio class where we actually learned content, the three credit class, um, I did pretty well in that as well. The exams, I did okay in. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did email my professor um, because I was like at, at an A minus and I asked him for an A. And I don't know if he bumped me up or not. I hopefully, he, hopefully he did. He said, I'll see what I can do. So. You know you know now my next class my entrepreneurship class so at university of maryland there's honors programs depending on your gpa and your sat you get admitted to them so i was lucky enough to be a part of the entrepreneurship honors college at umd for my entire college career since i was a freshman i was a part of the program and this was the last class we had to take to complete the program and get our certification and this class was pretty cool we basically got into small groups and made our own businesses from the start of the class to the end and at the end we presented the business to like actual judges and we won prize money my group modern cyber security actually got the 500 dollars social impact award which was pretty cool the award basically meant that the solution our company was providing was solving a very big problem and what we were solving was utility plants they have like bad firewalls so we were trying to um, better the cybersecurity of these utility plants so you know the Florida attack these pipeline hacks don't happen again but that class all in all it was a pretty chill class and I'm pretty sure I got an A in that as well and now moving on to the next class the religion class which was only once a week on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 9 50 this class was mainly participation based so you had to read like three articles the night before and then you had to discuss them in a discussion to be honest I didn't really talk a lot in the class sometimes you know, I'll talk more than others. Sometimes I'll talk not at all. Now, I remember like at one time I checked my grade. I was like, let me see what my grade is. Now I saw it was like an 83. And I was like, oh, I think I got to participate more. So then that's when I started like participating much more. And I was able to get full participation points. And I think my grade rose up to a 90. And that was five like grades ago. So I don't know how I did on the last couple of discussions. So hopefully I did well enough to get an A, because I was at an A minus. But yeah, those are my predictions for my five grades. I'll put them all up here in case you missed them. Um, this is not me trying to, you know, be cocky or brag or whatever, because, you know, I definitely paid last semester. But the idea is that, you know, if you put in the work for your classes, then you reap the benefits, or you hope your professor grades easy. All right, guys, so I'm about to switch over to my grade portal and see exactly how I did. So let's move the screen to my laptop. All right, guys, so I'm here at the grade portal right now. Now, all you have to do is just log in. Uh, did I forget how to log in? All right, so let me put my information in. You know, you guys can't see this, obviously. Don't want y'all hacking my stuff, getting me suspended. That'd be really bad. All right, so when I click grades, I should see my final grades. So here we go. Three, two. Oh, let me switch to my spring 2021. All right. You know, I really thought my 426 professor, which is a computer vision class, will like bump me up. But he didn't. But it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so it looks like I got an A in every single class or A plus, which is the same thing anyways. Beside one, which is my computer vision class. So I ended up with, I think this probably is like a 3.9 something. So it's not a 4.0, but can't complain, right? I got an A in every class. Oh, so it looks like my bio professor actually did bump me up. I had an A minus, but it looks like he rounded me up to an A. Thanks to my email. Thank you, Professor Montezuma. I love you. Now, lab A plus, you know, expected that. Religion got A in that. So I guess my last five discussions I did pretty well in. So so far I'm three for three. Computer vision, yeah, I mean, is what it is. I can't really do much about that. EIP, I guessed it. A 320 A plus. That was expected too. So yeah, I did pretty well this semester. I definitely bounced back from my last semester. 
grades. So that's a great plus sign because you want to be trending in the correct direction. But those are my final grades for college. And hopefully you guys, you know, reacted with me. You guys now think I'm a little smarter than I look. But if you guys are freshmen going to college or you are in college already and you want to better your grades, you want to do better in college and get some tips, then the number one tip I can give you guys is to make sure you manage your time. Because when you're managing time correctly and pretty well in college, that's when you find yourself having time to do your exams, time to study, time to do some work, time to have fun as well, time to eat. Like some people in college end up like becoming like this, this thin. Like you don't want that. And this was the last semester of Zoom University because my college is reopening for fall 2021. So I'm excited for that. And I'll be coming out with a lot of like college vlogs, college style videos when I'm on campus. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe if you can't wait either. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Peace.